We're sick and tired of this. 1411 Ryland Avenue in Bond Hill isn't a pretty sight. I think of uh, rodents. I think of, of uh, disease. I think, it's, I think our property value is going down. The trash is everywhere. Oh, no. And so are the 30 or so volunteers collecting it to make a point. Bond Hill was a good community, and the banks is letting it just go straight to, straight to hell. Residents were joined by members of Fight for a Fair Economy and Communities United for Action, bagging up the trash and hauling it downtown. Show me what democracy looks like. Their target, U.S. Bank on Walnut Street. They deliver the trash here where they say it belongs. Their research shows U.S. owns the deed to 1411. Hey, can we talk to the manager? They requested me that you guys go outside on the property. Well, if you don't want to leave, that's fine. We'll that place come. Eventually, the protesters moved outside. We're here for one thing. We want them to stop trashing our neighborhood. When the police arrived on horseback, the chance changed. Police need a raid. Police need a raid. The protesters were allowed to stay on the sidewalk. William Salt was drawn to the commotion with his own nightmare. His next door neighbor was foreclosed. And now crackheads took over it. They come in and smoke crack all hours of the night. Meanwhile, Roger Davis was not having much success talking with a manager. It's awful that they don't give our community the attention, just like it was awful that they didn't pay any true attention to us. U.S. Bank did respond to my calls and denied the property on Ryland belonged to them. Spokesperson Lisa Clark said the bank was merely a trustee for the mortgage holder, handling their paperwork. She said there were actually only a few properties in Cincinnati U.S. Bank holds the deeds for. The properties we have, she told me, we take care of. Clark also promised the bank would be contacting the mortgage holder in question to have the problem resolved. Scott Wegener, 9 News.